Yo Gotti has been in the game long and can be counted as an OG. Saying he's up about $50 million, Yo Gotti came up with his deep trap music straight out of the hood. But coming up, Yo Gotti has been through some trouble with the law and could have lost it all. This is Top Trend TV, and this is the criminal history of Yo Gotti. Look, back in the days, I was getting paid off gig. I had it made, coming through chopping on blaze in 10th grade. Five foot four with a K, and Miss K told me back in the fifth grade, don't be a slave. I laid and I prayed on a mission she displayed. She quoted, get your money, but don't end up in a cage. Yo Gotti was born on May 19th, 1981, and grew up in the Ridgecrest Apartments in Memphis, Tennessee. His neighborhood was a low income area with a lot of drugs and criminal activity. He was raised by his mother and his father, but both of them were in the streets and known for their hard life, which influenced Yo Gotti's music. Yo Gotti started rapping at the age of 14 as Lil Yo and dropped his first mixtape in 1996 named Youngin' On A Come Up and Yo Gotti's style back then was a lot different from now. Like really, search up that mixtape and calm it down below y'all thoughts. After that, people saw Yo Gotti's potential and he started to get a lot of support from his neighborhood. After that, Yo Gotti dropped another mixtape in 2000. After that, Yo Gotti dropped many more mixtapes, including Cocaine Music in 2008, January 10th, the mixtape in 2011, I Am in 2013, which was a pretty big mixtape for him. Then The Return in 2015, Gangsta of the Year, and Two Federal he did with Moneybag Yo in 2016. Plus he dropped a mixtape 2020 this year named Untrapped. And he's dropped many more in between all of these mixtapes that I didn't name. But despite Yo Gotti's music, he's also had some incidents in the past where he was targeted and his tour bus was hit with gunfire. Following a free concert in Nashville, police said it happened around 11.30 p.m. Tuesday after Yo Gotti performed at Mercy Lounge. The free concert was a part of his fan appreciation tour. WZTV reported that investigators believe the motive of the shooting was targeted vandalism. But others might think that the rapper Young Dolph might have something to do with it because of their rap beef in the past. Luckily for him and his crew, nobody was on the tour bus at the time. Yo Gotti has also had trouble with the law in the past. A warrant for his arrest was issued back in 2010 in connection with a Thanksgiving weekend shooting in Memphis, Tennessee in which six people were shot and injured. According to AllHipHop.com, Yo Gotti and one of his close friends, OG Boo Dirty, were involved in a verbal altercation on November 29th which resulted in a shootout. Among the six people wounded, one was an off-duty security guard. And Yo Gotti didn't turn himself in right away because he was in the middle of a tour. One of the witnesses said the two rappers got into a verbal argument in the early morning hours of November 29th when a third person got involved. Police said OG Boo Dirty punched him and a riot followed. In the end, OG Boo Dirty and two others were hit in the buttocks. The other person was hit in the wrist, another in the shoulder, and an off-duty security guard was shot in the ankle. None of these injuries were life-threatening, and the police ended up not finding the gunman. OG Boo Dirty has known to verbally attack Yo Gotti in his rap songs. But Yo Gotti has never responded in any of his songs. OG Boo Dirty was charged with inciting to riot and aggravated riot. 
Yo Gotti was also charged with aggravated riot. The three men were arrested and a total of 11 people were charged in the case. Yo Gotti ended up beating all of these charges later on. All charges were dropped on Yo Gotti after he went to court. Better known as rap artist Yo Gotti says justice was served. That means false allegations. Lance Taylor, also known as OG Boo Dirty, was charged with inciting to riot and aggravated riot. But Wednesday, Gotti says his celebrity may have been the reason why he was implicated in the incident. I'm put it out there, you know what I mean, and run with it. I mean, of course, it, it's a little damaging, but, you know, like I said, I knew it was all going to come to this. Another time, Yo Gotti had an incident with the law. He was allegedly involved in the shooting of Young Dolph in 2017 when Young Dolph was shot in Hollywood in front of a hotel. Initially, Yo Gotti was reported as a person of interest in the shooting because of music beef. Young Dolph was involved in an altercation with three men in a parking lot at a hotel in Hollywood, which resulted in Young Dolph being thrown to the ground and shot multiple times. Young Dolph was escorted to a local hospital where he was left in critical condition. Plus, earlier that year, Young Dolph was involved in another shooting in Charlotte, North Carolina, where his SUV was reportedly shot at a hundred times. That's where he got the name Bulletproof for one of his albums, too. The rapper Black Youngster was arrested for that shooting, but was later released. And the charges on Yo Gotti was dropped too. Another time Yo Gotti was arrested was back in 2012. This arrest wasn't too serious, but he was arrested at a mall before a show. Him and his crew decided to go to a mall after hours and created a crowd of fans. After that, Yo Gotti and his entourage were arrested. But less than two hours later, he bonded himself out. He also mentions in a couple of his songs that he's up about $50 million with multiple exotic cars that he posts on social media. He also says he has a couple properties and some pretty big investments, which he owns a high class restaurant in his hometown named Private. Plus, he signed two big hip hop artists, Money Bad Yo and Black Youngster, under his label CMG. Yo Gotti's not really too open about his relationship status, but he has six children from two different relationships. He married Lakeisha Mims on May 17, 1989. They had two daughters and a son, and had his three other children with Jamie Moses. But that'll be about it for Yo Gotti. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down there in the comments who y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah. We out.